old Zaka 007, and today in the video, I have a quick and simple video for you guys on how to encrypt an image with text. Before I get started though, I'd like to say two different things with this video, new intro and new background music. I thought they're both kind of cool, so I threw them in there. Please let me know what you think about both of them in the description below. If you think the background music is too quiet or too loud or you just plain don't like it, please let me know as well as the, as the intro. With today's video though, like I said, we will be encrypting a message into a photo. And to do that, what you want to do is head over to this website below, which is this website right here. And it's a pretty cool little software called Pixel Security. Now, Pixel Security works with pretty much any computer that still runs. Um, it runs any on any version of Windows, as well as you have to have a monitor 800 by 600, which is, again, extremely low. Um, actually, most phones today are way above that. Now this application is used stenography, which is a encryption method of hiding words and secret text into files. Now the software um, supports stuff like BMP, JPEG, PNG, and WMF. So pretty much the most common photo files are supported. Also a nice thing, this program is completely portable and the whole thing is below a megabyte so you can actually email it. So what you want to do though is head over to the bottom of the page and click the download link. Once you download and extract the files, you get these four. You get the Pixel Security application, which um, encrypts the message. You get the file shredder, which will actually um, delete a file over and over again, overwrite its block, so it's hard to recover off your, off your hard drive once it's completely deleted. You get this Athena photo, which is a great for, for a test run. And this last DLL file, which is completely useless to you. So what you want to do is open up the Pixel software. And what you want to do is click open original image and scroll down to the Athena image or whatever image you really want to open up and encrypt. So make sure you open the image that you want to encrypt. Now what you want to do is type in a encrypted message. So for example, I'll just put hello YouTube. And once you type it in, what you want to do is press the encrypt image button. Then click save image. Save it as a separate file, not don't override the old one. So type in the other one. I'm just gonna put a two at the end there, so it's two different files. So now we have these two different files here. If you look at the properties of both of them, You guys can tell that the one with the encrypted message is about 80, 80 kilobytes, whereas the one that's not encrypted is about only 11. So that you guys can see the size. Now, mind you, is there a huge size difference? Not really. Uh, they're both under megabytes still, or actually they're both under 100 kilobytes still, but there is a size difference. And if we go ahead and open both of them up, you guys can see there's actually no difference. You know, I zoom in a bit here. There's no difference in how you look. So now to decrypt an image, what you want to do is open up the Pixel software again. Now you'll need the original image. So what you want to do is click open original image and you're going to select the original image that's not encrypted. Open that image up and then you want you to click decrypt image and select the message that the file that is encrypted. So for me, the Athena 2 image here, it's going to say that, well, successfully, do you want to decrypt it? So yes, and you'll see your secret message is shown. Now, if you wanted to send this over to someone, what you want to do is send them both files. So the original image, as well as the encrypted image, and as well as, and they have to have this program, obviously, to see your message. So that's pretty much it guys for that software. I'll show you guys the file shredder program pretty quickly. It's pretty simple. All you gotta do is hit add files and select the file. So let's say I wanted to delete this encrypted image. So I'll just find the Athena 2, Athena 2 image here. And then what I'll want to do is choose the paranoia setting, which is basically how paranoid you are. 35 is fine though. And I'll click shred. Now the nice thing is this program will encrypt it before shredded. So even if someone was to, was to kind of, um, pull it back, they'd have to kind of decrypt it so they could really see the message or whatever. Click shred and click yes and that file will be gone. There you go. It's all gone permanently. 
Anyways, guys, though, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below as well. As please, if you have an opinion on the background music or the intro, please leave that below as well. Or if you don't want to comment, tweet me it, Facebook message me it, uh, comment on Instagram, whatever it may be. Just do something. Thanks, guys, anyway, for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. This is Agro 007, and I'm signing off.